When I first started using LinkedIn, I thought that I just needed to send a message to everybody and then I'll get the opportunity to connect with them and, and sp pitch them, spam them, so to speak. <laughs> Tell them about my services and get them to buy it. Well, LinkedIn didn't work that way and I learned the hard way. Fortunately for you, you don't have to learn that hard way. You can learn from me and also from our guest today. Bill McCormick is gonna make sure you understand how to use LinkedIn effectively. Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome to another great episode of the Sales Evangelist Podcast. I'm your host, Donald Kelly, the Sales Evangelist. And I'm so excited for another great episode. I'm so excited to be here with you today. And on this episode, we have the one and only Bill McCormick. And Bill is a LinkedIn, I'm going to say it, expert. Dude's been using LinkedIn for a long time. He works with this amazing organization. And they're all about helping sales reps have more conversations on LinkedIn, which is what you want. You don't want to send a message and nobody respond. You want to send that message, have people engage, have conversation with you, and then schedule an appointment with you. It works. And I want to show you how this happens with Bill's knowledge and expertise today. He's going to guide us through that process. Every connection request that we get, we want to evaluate it. You know, what is this person saying to me? If they haven't sent me a note, sending a note back saying, hey, Donald, why do you want to connect? Not in those words, but being a little bit more tactful, <laughs> you, you know, and here's mine. Hey, Donald, thanks for the connection the, the connection request. Uh, typically, I only, only connect with people I've either met in person or had engagement here on LinkedIn. Can you tell me what it was about my profile that triggered the connection request? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a tennis game. I hit the ball back in your court. Now you have to tell me why you want to connect. Then I get to evaluate. And so by doing that, I keep control of my network because my network is very valuable to me. And it should, and, and if you're connected to me, then I owe it to you as part of my network to guard who I let in. Yeah. Because if I let someone in that's going to spam everyone, you're going to get spammed. And, and so we really need to do that. And now as we're thinking about who we want to connect with, we have to start evaluating that. Who, who does it make sense for us to connect with? You know, we want to connect with our clients. We want to connect with our networking partners. We want to connect with our prospects, but we want to do it authentically and not in a way that says, Donald, I want to connect with you because I want to sell you. Because <laughs> that, that, that that's we know that that's not working. You know, raise your hand if you've ever bought something from someone that connected with you on LinkedIn on the first message. No one's raising their hands. So whether you do it on video or even, you should always have a welcome message. When somebody connects with you, you should have, because that's what it is, it's a conversation. You know, if, if I came up to you, Donald, and said hi, and you said hi back, and then I turned and walked away, that would be rude. And oftentimes we do that on LinkedIn is we connect with somebody and we forget about them and they go out of our mind. In fact, uh, I'll, I'll tell the salespeople a little trick. I guarantee you, you're already connected to some of your ideal clients and prospects and you forgot about them. Mm. So um, One more time, so one more you, time. Say that one so more time again. You're, you're already connected to some of your ideal prospects and you've forgotten about them. If only there was a way on LinkedIn that you could search or export your connections to find out that, wow. Well, message me i'll tell you how to do that but back to the message we want it we want we want a message and it's not a message hey donald i i want you to buy from me we want to have a conversation one of the great ways to do is video video is not the is not the future video is the here and now start using it before we as salespeople break it we break as salespeople. we break every good thing we have the telephone was broken that's why we have the do not call registry email is broken that's why we have the can spam act LinkedIn's being broken because, and, and they've, they've ramped down the number of, you can only do 100 connection requests a week. Why? Because people are breaking it. So use video before it's broken. Right on the mobile app on LinkedIn, when you're connected to someone, right on your mobile phone, you can do a video message to them that's live. You don't need any other software. You don't need uh, one of these other companies, which they're great. I use BombBomb Me pretty too. exclusively. They're a great company. but. I find that if I send a personal message on a via video on a message, it just stands out. And and, and all I said with Donald was, "Hey, I, I'm thanks so much for accepting my connection request. I'm really looking forward uh, to to being with you on the Sales Evangelist podcast." And one of the great things it works for for salespeople is if you have a client that ghosts you, yeah. you know, you're getting no reply at all. 
video is a great way to just reach out and just say, hey, I was thinking about you. How are things going? I was in Syracuse about a month ago. We had a client we proposed some business for. We didn't get it, the work. They decided to do something else. Hey, no harm, no foul. I drove past their world headquarters in Syracuse. You know, it's not a big company if their <laughs> world headquarters are in Syracuse, New York. I, I pulled over to the side of the road. I got my phone out. I did a video with the sign in my in the background. I said, hey, Mike, I was in Syracuse. I saw your company here, and I just thought I'd reach out and say, hey. He messaged me back. That was so cool. We started a conversation. Now, I didn't go right to pitching him again, but he actually offered me some intel on what's been happening in the company. Why? It's all about having a conversation. And so as salespeople, we really tend to, we, we don't know how to have a conversation without selling. We have to relearn this. When we socially listen, we figure out what the problems that our, client, our clients and our prospects are facing and what kind of content is out there that helps them with that. So that when I do reach out to you, I can say, hey, Donald, I notice as a CEO in the XYZ industry, one of the problems you may be facing is logistics. I found a great article in Forbes that I'd love to share with you. Let me know if you're interested uh, and I'll send a link. You know, we're back to the tennis ball game, the tennis game. I, I hit the ball back and I let you decide whether you want the link. We have free content on our website. You can become a free silver member for Social Sales Link and get free access to our content library. You just go to socialsaleslink.com slash library and you can, you can sign up and we have past master classes with people like Larry Levine, like Keenan, like Bob Berg. And um, you know, you can watch those as well as a number of other resources, downloadable PDFs to, to help you optimize your profile. Well, I love this, um, Bill. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for taking the time to come on our show today. Thanks for bringing the wisdom and all the great insights today. I, I really appreciate and I appreciate you. Um, and I highly recommend you guys go back and check out, connect with Bill and check out their podcast. Um, Bill, thank you. Thank you again for coming on the show, man. Donald, thank you so much for having me. Thanks to your, to your listeners. And hey, when you connect with me, send me a note telling me you heard me on Donald's podcast. I'll be sure to connect with you then. That was Bill McCormick, and I would recommend that you connect with him. Now that you've seen and you heard the great things that he has to share, I want you to go back into the show notes and do this. Just click on his profile, that link, connect with him, tell him you heard him on the Sales Evangelist podcast. And while you're at it, if you're not connected with yours truly already, go ahead and connect with me, Donald C. Kelly. I want to make sure that I can help you to have value. I want you to I want you to succeed in your role. I want you to find like tremendous just influence in your sales efforts with the prospects you're working with. And the way you can do that is to apply to things that you're learning. I want you to find more ideal customers on LinkedIn. I want you to know what to say when you reach out to them. I want you to be able to build stronger value. I want you to close more deals. But most importantly, I want you to raise your level of thinking and go out and do big things. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it.